Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Virtual Tech Short. I'm Pawan. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can setting up this QE2 Day application on any PC to work with SNI host using VLS VMS VPN accounts. So let's just start our video and see how we can do this. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, then on notification at and join with me. Ok friends, firstly you need to download and extract the zip file which I have added to the description of this video and then you can install this exe file on your computer. Now you need to open this qe 2 ray application. In here you need to go to this preferences option to setting up this application. When it comes to here you need to select these options one by one. You need to change this option to dash connect option and also you need to disable this root certificate option from enabling this option and also you need to use system proxy and you need to click on this kernel setting option in here you need to open this path also you need to open the extracted folder when it comes to here there is a folder called vico you need to copy that folder into your clipboard like this then you need to paste that folder into here now you can select this vico folder and uh, click on select folder option also you need to click on this v2ray exe option to select the executable path now open this vico folder and select the exe file which called v2ray exe like this and click on open again then you can click on this check v2ray core settings to verify whether you have successfully setting up this or not now you can see it succeed now you need to click on inbound settings and you need to enable these options one by one you need to enable uh, snipping options and also you need to enable do demo do settings like this and uh, then you need to click on the connection settings option and you need to enable all of these options one by one except the first one if you have enabled this one your connection will be not work properly then you need to go to dns option and uh, go to here now you can change uh, use ipv4 option from here ok guys now we have successfully setting up everything on this qv 2 ray application we need to install the plugins now you need to copy the plugins folder according to your system specification in my case i have a 64 bit pc so i am opening this one if you have a, a 32 bit pc you can go for this option Now you need to copy all of these plugins into your clipboard. Then go back to your application and you need to go to plugins option here. Now click on open local plugin folder option. Here you need to paste all of these plugins like this. now you can close this folder also then you need to exit this uh, application from your system tray like this and you need to reopen the application to uh, check whether our uh, plugins installation process is succeed or not now you can go to plugins and check whether our process is success or not you can see success then when it comes to here you need to go to this trojan grow plugin option once again and you need to go to this plugin setting option in here you need to click on the browse option once again and you need to go back to your uh, zip file which i have added to the description of this video when it comes to here you can see there is a folder like this Now you need to copy this folder into your clipboard and paste that folder into that 
path where uh, we have opened through this application like this now you can open this folder and select this exe just click on open and uh, you need to click on this tetran option then we can import uh, some uh, vms vls accounts to here ok friends here i am going to import a vpn account to this application you need to visit this website uh, which means the howdy.id here uh, is the link you can also refer this link from the given link in the description of this video when it comes to here you need to click on this protocol box and you need to select the uh, method which you want to create the vpn account any of these uh, options will work because i have included all the plugins into this zip file so let's try to continue with this vls method firstly then uh, click on import option and paste your copied configurations into this application and click on import then right click on that config file and go to edit option when it comes to here you can see there are many more options to enable so uh, let's try to setting up this application so when it comes to here if you are uh, going to connect with port 80 except the 443 this is the settings for you you need to enter your host address like this which means you need to find a sni bug host firstly if you don't know the way that you can find a sni bug host uh, you won't be able to uh, get the ultimate benefit of this application so i have included a tutorial for you to find a sni bug host you can refer to that video from the given link in the description of this video and then you also will be able to find a SNI bug host. Here uh, is the WS settings if you are uh, willing to continue this application with port 80. But if you are willing to continue this application with port 443, you can't use these configurations. Then you need to remove this host address from here like this and again you need to change this protocol into tcp uh, then you need to click on tls settings and uh, change this one into tls also you need to enter your server name address in here like this after you can press ok button and continue with um, tls method ok friends when it comes to here i had to paste a small problem because uh, my account which I have created using uh, howdy.id doesn't work which means the howdy's uh, VLS method doesn't work properly so I have created the VPN account in vpnjanty.com when it comes to here this WS method work for me so uh, here you can see I have created the account using WS method so here uh, you can see how I have setting up this account for my PC here I have entered my uh, host and also you can see uh, how is the connection that I have setting up here like this you also can setting up this connection in this case you are not going to use TLS method you only can use WS method then uh, let's try to see whether our connection is ok or not you can see I'm going to pass.com to measure my connection speed. Okay, friends, with this, I'm going to wind up this video. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification, and join me.